Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. I am Fiery Red Hero 8, and we are finally at Bowser's Castle. So let's. I'm looking for the right word, and I totally missed it. I was gonna say, let's break into this fortress. Or something along those lines. <laughs> Way to start an episode. But as you can see, the door is locked. And there's a badge up there, but we can't get to it quite yet, so... I'm really thinking, what the, what the hell? Well, there's a side door. Because Bowser obviously hired really horrible architects for this place. If he didn't design it himself. But you want to keep Black Lester... Well, actually, no. I don't want Black Lester out quite yet. I'm going to go over to Wyatt. Because we have a new enemy here. You've seen him all throughout this game, but we haven't had a chance to fight him yet. This is a Koopa Troll, and he has one of three attacks. He can either like tackle you with four damage, charge himself, and then do ten damage, or he can call in more bitches. So, but what I like to do is do a Quake Hammer. Because then... They'll be on their backs, they'll take one turn, w w their turn to get up, so they won't touch you. In the meantime, you can get Watt to do more damage. Well, actually, it doesn't matter if she does damage, because she pierces through defenses anyway, but still. Quake again. It take. I mean, and the cool thing is, it doesn't take too much FP anyway, because it's only 2 FP, I believe, to do a Quake Hammer. And there you go. They didn't even really touch us except for that first strike. But that's okay. However, when they are more numerous, I would suggest using Cooper's fire shell attack. We get a castle key. And we see that he was guarding these toads, but we can't even talk to them, which really sucks. Oh well, it's not like they tell us anything useful. Now if Mario could get his fat ass up here, we can go back out. And now... We can go through the front door. Yay! Not like we want to go in here, but we got to. And there's another one of them in here, so be prepared. Yay! We leveled up in that battle. And we can't upgrade our BP anymore, so let's increase our FP. Alright, and I'm... I just realized that I had not mentioned something about the Koopa Trolls. It's not recommended, obviously, that you jump on them unless you have spike shield, and the hammer is not supposed to work. However, in that last fight, I used a hammer, and it hit him. However, the spell also took place right before I hit him, so I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but I would just keep using quake hammers to get them on their backs. Okay. We are back, and I was totally drawing a blank. I wasn't even drawing a blank, I just... I knew I was recording, but I'm just being stupid. Okay, another one of you guys in here. Can I avoid you? Only for so long! Oh, well, we have to fight this guy. Hammer Brothers! Now, they you can actually jump on them, but they won't land on their backs, which is kind of weird. I guess the helmet protects them from that? I don't know. Um, but anyway... They have two attacks. They can hit you with one hammer, which does five damage, with possibility of shrinking. And then they can also, when their health gets between four and below, they can throw five hammers at you, which do two damage each, which can be up to ten, and they can shrink you with that as well. So keep that in mind. I'm just going to go for a power bounce. And not quite make it. Let's hope a shell toss can do him. Or get him. What? That's crap. Well, thankfully we didn't sh get shrunk there because your attack power will go down when that happens. So, if I can get it down to four. Perfect. Okay. Now Cooper could just power shell and we can be on our way. What? Okay, never mind. I keep forgetting that his power shell is not quite as strong as the regular attack. And I got shrunk. Perfect. Not that it matters, because Cooper can take him out. My math is horrible. Can't you tell? 
as I've already mentioned before. But yeah, I would, as I always recommend, battle as many enemies as you can, even though I totally skip those guys back there. But believe me, this is pretty long, so... And we get creepy-like music. Blah! Welcome, worm. I'm called the guard door of Bowser's castle. It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. You must be Mario. Let me guess. Do you want to go through here? Hmm? You want to get to the other side of this wall, right? No, we've just been going through this whole entire game just to come up to this point. Just give us Peach and we'll be on our way. That That's, that's it. Okay, then. <laughs> Stand in front of me. Normally, any normal person would go back, but of course, we have a princess to save. Are you standing squarely in front of me? Okay, then. I'll let you go through. It's April Fool's! Two days late! You asshole! <laughs> you fell for it, worm! You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison! Try all you like! All you'll do is exhaust yourself! I'll tell you what, if you make it back up here, I'll let you go through. How's that? Ah, <laughs> I know you'll never make it. I hope you have a good time shaking and crying down there. <laughs> well, screw you, I already see a way out. Oh, Mario, you came at long last. As you can see, we're in, such, we're in a horrible situation. Princess Peach is who knows where, and her beautiful castle is being run by Bowser's horrid staff of rejects. Nothing fills me with more joy than serving this castle with my heart and soul, but right now there's nothing I can do. We have no choice but to rely on you now, Mario. Please, at least save our dear Princess Peach. Like we weren't already trying to do that. Let's heal up. This wouldn't have happened if we'd had better defenses. Words of wisdom right there. You need to have a conference after this whole game is over so you can bulk up your defenses and Mario will be the commander-in-chief. He'll train all you toads up. I don't know how I can ever apologize to Princess Peach. Ugh, it doesn't matter. Saving her is all that counts now. You got that right. I still can't believe that all of Pr Peach's castle was kidnapped during the party. I know it was just a means to catch Princess Peach, but still, only an evil fiend like Bowser would do something like that. Um, that's not as uncommon as you'd think, Toad. Please make him pay. Mario, you've come to save us. I just knew you would. All the Toads in here used to work in Peach's castle. I think we kind of figured that out. The princess isn't with us. I think she must be confined somewhere else. Mario, don't worry about us. Saving Princess Peach is the only thing that matters. Well, like this blue Toad here was talking about, I don't know what he's saying because most attacks usually happen during parties. That's like the most vulnerable time. There we go. It's a piece of cake to break these walls. The material's weak. These are much easier than the walls of Koopa's fortress. You're really lucky you have me along, aren't you? Okay, Bobette, really? But I remember a movie that actually, um, it was, I forget what, what it was, but there was a Christmas party in the beginning, and there was like this divorced, I guess the couple was like, was gonna get divorced but they were at a Christmas party and Alan Rickman who is like one of the best actors ever was the villain and I don't know the title of that movie all I know is I think it was made in the 80s or the early 90s but I'm not a hundred percent sure when it was made but during a party ultimate vulnerable time to attack I mean, anybody should know that of course I don't want to get attacked now at one of my parties not that I throw them Get a life shroom? Sweet. And now we can follow this lava on out to the front. And I like how the cloud is just like, I don't like this! Get me off of here! Ugh. Just freaking out. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be like inches from lava either. But I don't get why he goes so slow, yet he's so fast on land. I don't get that. First I thought it was my game, but... I don't think so. Alright, get off. And get another deep focus badge. And I actually thought at that higher platform to the right that there was an invisible block there, but there actually isn't, so don't bother looking for it. 
Because I already looked. Now let's just go on back through. Taking a million years. And I'm telling you, I don't know why, but like, well, I do know, well, I don't really know why, but once again, I have been addicted to Animal Crossing today. I just, like I've said, I go through spells where I'll just play a game non-stop and then I'll let it go for a long time and then come back to it, but I don't know why. But yes, of course, I am super excited for the, those games to come out. I just wish they didn't have to wait until August to release them. But it's not like I have to go back to school this September anyway, so it's not like it's going to cut into anything like that. Which is kind of weird, because this will be the first September ever, August and September, that I will not be going back to school. It's just, that's kind of sad in a way, even though I'm super excited to be graduating. It's just, change in pace is always weird to me. Classic platforming. It looks like there's a little whirlpool down there. That's kind of cool. Not that I want to be in that whirlpool or any kind of whirlpool at all. Another obvious switch. Yay. That'll make that platform come back over so you can just slide on over and wait for it to come to you. Come on. And there's a door here, but you don't want to go in there quite yet, because even if you do go in there, it's not like you can access what's in there quite yet, so just bypass it. Hit another switch, make it over to the other side, and wait another million years for the block to go through. Now we have to use Paracarry, which is again, Mario can't jump. I mean, he can do tornado jump now, just, but he can't jump very far. That's why, you, that's why you need Ouija with you, man! You gotta feel bad for Luigi. He's always in his brother's shadow. But that's okay, he redeems himself in Luigi's Mansion, which is... I haven't played that game very often, but I think it's kind of cool how Luigi is, like, super scared, but he's still willing to go through it all to save his brother. Now that's love brotherly love at least okay there's a mystery there I'm not going for it because I believe my item list is full right now or it will be full so I don't why am I doing that I'm not gonna use it because I already have good items same for the thunder rage because I have already have one in my in my items lit inventory or whatever you want to call it and I don't think I need another one because I have a shooting star in there okay let's use bow so we don't take a lava bath. Okay. We're nearly through. Now now you can go through this door. So that's actually where you want to go. Let's go. A whole waterfall of lava. Okay. Now, I'm going to switch to Cooper really quick. Climb on up the stairs. And what's going on here? Let's crash this party. Uh-oh. Well, Mario is right there. Now what are we supposed to do in this situation? Kimmy Koopa told us something, but I'm drawing a total blank. That's because you're stupid. I think she told us not to let him touch that switch. Oh, oh, no. Don't you think that means we have to fight them? No! He'll wipe the floor with us! Stop your belly aching! Who says we should be afraid of Mario, huh? He's not so bad. Whatever happens, we can't let him push this switch. Don't you care that King Bowser needs our help? Come on, take this, plumber. Show him what you're made of. Wow, we have no choice. Gotta be brave, gotta be... Attack! You gotta love how the Magic Koopas... Sticking it out for his main man, Bowser. Okay. Let's just do... Quake Hammer. And I, I, I use Cooper for a reason, because what happens after this is so funny. Because, you know, Magic Koopa's being all loyal and shit. Magic Koopa's being all loyal. Okay, never mind. Prove me wrong like a jackass, didn't you? 
because I thought he was gonna run away, and I was—I thought that was gonna be super funny. Well, screw you! I killed you anyway and got the experience, so it all works out. Fucker. He ruined my punchline. Okay, Super Shroom. In that case, I'm gonna get rid of the maple syrup because I have a lem lemon and lime candy, which each do more FP healing than the maple syrup. So, goodbye. Hit another switch. Hey, that lava hardened when it cooled off. Now we can walk across it. Let's go, Mario. Yeah, let's go. Ooh, it's crispy. Like a charbroiled burger, which I totally would like to eat right now. And eh, not really. I'm not really hungry right now. That's okay. Okay, not going after you because I don't need it. And not going after you either. But yeah, I'm really close to where I want to be as far as diet goes. And I'm really proud of myself for that. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just like really excited. As a matter of fact, I get paid again in probably two weeks. And I'm probably going to start looking for a dress for graduation. If anything, I need a pair of pumps because I don't have those. And it's not like you can wear... Um, croc heels to your graduation now, really. Okay. Open this chest, and we get a castle key, so we can open the door at the end of the hall. But we're gonna save that for the next episode. Peace out!